Hello everyone, it's been a while since we've checked in. Um, today is Tuesday, August uh, 13th, and I wanna introduce everybody today. So we've got Gunner, say hi Gunner. <laughs> Oliver Clark, the little fuzzy muffin here. We've got Cy in the back, Cy the sloth, and I still never have uh, named the uh, white tiger in its little cub. It's been a while since we've checked in. Um, honestly, probably this time it's been so long is, yes, I have been busy living, but I also have been struggling with, um, I don't really want to call it a setback. It's just, um, I'm still learning how to pace myself and definitely um, am learning that I have a tendency to want to go kind of full force right back into life because I'm so excited about living again because I was so sick leading up to explant and um, that's just not the wisest way to do this. <laughs> so I'm uh, about five months post explant surgery. And uh, I definitely am noticing that um, symptoms are disappearing all the time. Everything is, is improving. My health overall is improving um, drastically. I uh, no longer am dealing with a lot of the uh, neuropathy issues I was having. Uh, a lot of my autoimmune uh, struggles that I had are uh, dissipating. My blood tests are showing that as well. I know I've showed, said that on previous posts. Um, my sleeping is getting better all the time, and um, my my posture has improved a lot. I'm finally able to train again and get strong and um, build chest muscles that I've never been able to do in the past because my implants were under the chest muscle, and that really affected my body's ability to be able to um, train effectively with um, all of this upper body musculature. So I've been able to start training my, my whole upper body in a way that I've never been able to do in the 28 years that I had implants and I'm embracing the fact that I can um, really develop my muscles um, uh, to a fitness level that I have never had before. So that's been really awesome. Um, I used to have a lot of pain in my upper area here due to the fact that the implants were behind the muscle and they were causing the muscles to have to function in a in a kind of an odd way trying to manipulate themselves around the implants and so a lot of the the neck shoulder um uh chest pain just pain that i had a lot um is is gone basically so um i'm also working on a regular basis with a massage therapist who specializes in therapeutic massage which means um, it's very deep tissue and manipulating the muscles in a, a um, in a way that opens them up um, kind of at their insertion points and and just allows you to have more range of motion um, and because i was so frozen up here for so long i actually started to get frozen shoulder on the right side um, he has been able to break through a lot of that tissue the muscle tissue the inflammation that i had from the implants and then even the scar tissue that um, was in uh, this area due to multiple surgeries um, from having uh, different sets of implants over the years. So um, all of that has been a major improvement. I am slowly getting back to work. I am a personal trainer, um, health coach, and I've taken on a handful of my uh, previous clients and it has been such a joy to be back with them. Um, I'm just, I'm thrilled. I'm so blessed because I have some really amazing clients in my life that um, not only do I help them on their, their healthy living journey, but it's amazing how much they help me in my life journey. Just um, so many things that they offer. So back to that and loving it. Um, but I'm, I'm learning that I um, have to pace myself. I have not started my group training yet. My um, G-Force actually fit for a uh, life training club. Um, not quite strong enough for that yet, but I'm hoping to do that soon. So, um, but anyway, so kind of the message that I wanted to share today um, is that I did get so excited when I started feeling so much better um, after I kind of had that healing crisis that happened after surgery. And um, 
I, I just, I was just so excited to live again that I just jumped right back in and just started trying to do everything that I used to do with exercise and, um, you know, just kind of this go, go, go attitude that I've always sort of lived. And what I'm learning through this healing journey, um, and I've, and I've read posts from other women in the support groups that, um, say they have this same thing where it is very much still a roller coaster ride even once you get the implants removed um, the body is still healing and I have to remember that um, my body was um, being damaged and toxins were inside of me for um, over 28 years in total so um, my body can't just snap out of that you know, by getting them out, like it's not going to be that quick. And I, it, for me, it was just, I was feeling so good and oh my God, I'm so happy that I feel better that I just thought that I could just jump right back in. And I'm learning that that's not the case, that there are going to be still some lows in this, that my body is still healing. I am still um, really trying to come to terms with the fact that I just need to live a different lifestyle overall. It's just going to benefit me in, in all kinds of ways, kind of separate from explant. Um, but just learning to be more balanced and not just go, go, go until I crash and burn and, and all that to just, um, instead of being so up, down, up, down with my energy levels to just try and stay more steady. Um, so that's kind of the journey that I'm on personally with it, but I just want to kind of express to all of you, uh, women that are, you know, undergoing explant surgery and, um, that, that it's you're, even though you may feel really good you may not always feel really good there's going to be days i've actually had probably a good month now where i've sort of been on a down but let me d definitely reassure you that my down that i've been in lately is nothing like what i was before i had the implants removed so it's just that i was feeling really really good because i was you know i had gotten all that rest after surgery and i was just you know not doing as much and I was feeling really, really good. And then when I started kind of integrating back into life and doing things, it's sort of, I don't want to say it's setting me back, but it's just, I feel it. You know, I just, I feel like my body is still needing to heal. I need to just sort of slow down, but I still feel better than I did before I had the implants um, removed. So regardless, the healing is still very real. It's just, it is a bit of a roller coaster ride, and I think we all need to really um, learn patience. This is definitely um, a time to, for me to practice patience, which I suck at. So um, it, it's just going to take time, and I, I, I need to just roll with that. So I just want others to know that um, if you start having some downtime, it's it's just part of the process, and, and you're going to have an up again. We just have to focus on the positive. So on those days where I really am feeling sort of defeated and weak and depressed, I focus on all of the good things that have already happened um, since I've had explant surgery, all the positive things that have happened so that I can kind of keep my mind in a positive um, space versus thinking about how crappy I feel. That doesn't do me any good. So that's kind of where I'm at in, um, in all of that, just learning how to pace myself. Um, and basically, um, I'm... Uh, crazy enough, I had, back before I started getting really, really sick, I had been sick for quite some time, but before I started getting to the point where I literally was, you know, pretty much bedridden, had to quit my job, all that stuff, um, I had, I had planned a trip, um, to South Africa. That has been a bucket list item for me since I was a child, and an opportunity opened up where some people were going, and I thought, well, I'm not going to want to ever go to South Africa by myself. So um, I need to see if I can try and make this happen. So I did. I worked really hard, saved up money, and, and really wanted to uh, make this happen. And I had planned this trip. And then I started getting so sick, I didn't know if I was going to be able to go. I honestly, I had bought the insurance just in case. And I didn't think I was going to be able to go. And um, even though I am sort of on a, a weaker time right now as far as my healing, um, I do feel strong enough to venture. And so next week, I am heading out to... Um, check off a bucket list item and heading to South Africa to um, spend a lot of time in nature and I just I cannot wait so that's coming up next week so um, if I hadn't gotten these boobs out I would not be traveling to South Africa in my opinion I might very well be dead so I'm thrilled to say that that's coming up next week um, I as far as my journey I'm going to continue to learn to pace myself 
um, slowly but surely just trying to kind of integrate back into everything and just allowing um, things to unfold at a little bit of a more even keel and learning that, um, you know, there's no race to the finish line on this, that, um, yeah, I'm excited to get back to life, but I still have a lot of life left to live. But I, I, if I push too hard, then I'm just going to slow the process. So I'm going to take it a little bit slower. And I thought there was something else I sort of wanted to cover today, um, but I, I'm not recalling what it is. So anyway, um, again, I want to just always thank everybody for prayers and well wishes. And I want to offer, you know, hope uh, to all of those of you who are um, are already set to do explant surgery. Um, you may have a little bit of a rough road. You may not. Every woman's a little bit different. But if you do, just know that um, the one thing that I have learned in all of this is when things get really, really rough and you start not feeling well, um, your mindset is very, very important. So you have to stay positive no matter what. Um, surround yourself with positive people. I very much live in um, prayer and meditation. Um, this journey has taken me uh, into a whole new relationship with um with god honestly and um that in and of itself is completely changing my life in unbelievable ways so whatever it is that um any of us can do to just stay positive and just know that you will find healing um, you have to believe it sometimes even when you don't feel it you have to believe it i do believe that um, the mind has a lot of power over how the body reacts so we have to set it straight here so that the rest can follow suit and um, you know you will get better. And even though the heel may be a little bit slow, um, some of us, you know, may never find a hundred percent. We ne may never be exactly what we were. But honestly, you know, I'm 48 years old. I got these when I was 20. I'm not 20 anymore. So I'm never going to be <laughs> what I was when I was 20, no matter what. So um, we have to focus on even if it's just one improvement in our life as far as getting these out. I think that that's what we have to focus on. Um, I will say that, um, I do not miss my boobs. I want everybody to know that I'm going to keep saying that I don't miss them at all. Um, it is, it has been a blessing to have my body just be mine. The things that I can do now physically, um, as far as my fitness and my exercise and just everything, I mean, health and all of that is so much more important as far as being able to live life. I can ride my horses now, I can walk my dogs, I can ride bikes, um, I hope to be able to do triathlons again, I can spend time with my friends and family, I can be outside, I can just be living, um, and with my boobs I couldn't, so they are so not worth all of those things that I had to give up to have them, so it's like, I don't know, to me, they just don't matter. It doesn't matter what you look like, even if they're deformed or whatever. It just doesn't matter in the whole scheme of things because they are—they don't affect your life. They're just something to look at. They don't actually make you function any differently. So anyway, that's all I have for today. I keep thinking I'm going to think of what that other thing was, but I guess that'll be in a future post. Hopefully I can post maybe one more time before I head out. Otherwise, I'm going to head off to South Africa and I'm probably going to be unplugged for most of that because I just want to be with animals and God. That is the plan for that. So I hope all is well. I hope everybody has a really great week and i um, still shouting very loud that the heel is real. It's getting better all the time, guys. Stay strong in the fight. For those of you that are waiting for surgery, hold on. Your heel is coming. Stay positive. Love you guys. Bye. Thank you.